vlog is a little late. Weekend corn in August. It's already October. <laughs> it was supposed to be a weekly vlog, but I was waiting for one clip. I never got it, and it's really not an important clip. There's not... It was just an ending that I wanted, and I'm including it right now because I talked about our canning method that is going to be helpful information for the next upcoming fall vlogs. But yeah, without further ado, it's been pushed up long enough. Enjoy the canning vlog. I think it's important to note that this is just the way our colony goes about canning corn. Methods change from colony to colony. Although there are some that might do it the way we do, I can only talk about the colony I come from. <laughs> it's okay. I got my brother to give me a ride. We pick with our laundry wagons because it's so much easier. On our community, after supper, the entire community picks corn. We also husk them right there in the garden. Definitely easier and less work the next day. Kayla. Whoa. How's it going? Four. Hey, <laughs> Sharon. Oh, Shen said it on. He's actually. What's this to do with that? Mark, you must be home, Nima. Do what you want to do. Do what makes you happy. Thank you, Mark. Thanks, Robert. Hannah, come to her. Make your debut. People are wondering where you are. This is she. Hi. <laughs> So first things first, that morning the three youngest girls washed the jars that we needed. Some of the other girls started washing the corn while the others as well as the ladies started cutting the corn off the cob. We don't cook our corn before we cut them off the cob. We cut them off raw and then we cook them in the big kettle.
Okay, honestly, I have no idea how this would be called, but basically we're just leaving the corn on the cob and just chopping them in smaller pieces with the machine and then actually canning them as is. We don't remove anything and our people really like them. Me, not so much. After we filled the jars, we just added one teaspoon of pickling salt and one teaspoon of sugar. And we're going to fill them with water, add the lids, and they're going to be going into the tank to cook for two and a half hours. And this is them after they have come out of the tank. Up next, we just have the regular average canned corn. And basically, what you do is you put your raw corn into your jars, add one teaspoon of pickling salt, one teaspoon of sugar, add your water, put on your lids and put them into the tank for two and a half hours. This is the tank that we use for canning. I believe this method is the water bath canning, but basically, yeah. There's one. There's the other. 60 jars going each side and we only needed 100 jars of corn. So of course it's not entirely full, but this is it. This is the setup that we use for canning. Temperature settings and the controls are on the right hand side of the tank. And there you have it. The corn are ready, cooked and out of the tank. The last method of making corn is called creamed style corn. I will leave a recipe down in the description box below. Might be a little bit late for this year, but we can always use it next year. So basically how you create this wonderful masterpiece is you pour your ingredients into the kettle, allow to cook before you add your corn. After everything is added, you allow it to cook for 20 minutes. The corn then get emptied into what we call a billy. Not sure what other people call them, but it's basically the big tub on wheels that the corn are in. We then transfer them to the fridge and allow them to cool down before we put them into containers. We do like to stir them frequently so they cool down faster. We don't want to put them in the containers boiling hot, but we do put them in the containers when they are still a little bit warm. But after they are in the containers, we set them aside in the fridge until they are ice cold. One of these containers equals one meal for us. We like to put enough meals into the freezer for at least one meal corn per week, but then also some extras just in case. Once the corn are nice and cold, the ladies that are canning and their two helpers cart them out of the fridge, add the lids and labels and get them upstairs to the freezer. I was snapping on lids and labels while the others were upstairs in the freezer with some of the corn. So the reason I mentioned so much of canning raw corn is because I talked to one of our ladies and back in the day they actually cooked the corn on the cob, put them into ice water to cool them down and then cut them off. We don't use that method anymore, some colonies might, I don't know. And I do hope you enjoyed the vlog and that it was helpful information, even though it might be a little bit late. Ah, uh, that one last clip was not important. It would have been cool, it would have been amazing, it would have been nice. Good footage, but I didn't really need it. It was more of a want. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I will see you in the next one. And if you're wondering about this because you saw my hands flying around, it will also be explained in the next vlog.